Robert Tate and Mo Williams back deep for Minnesota. Wilkins. And it's going to be Tate at about the six. Robert Tate to the 26. A lot of noise. And it's only first down. To work is George to Carter. Smith is deep. Flying saucer in front of him. Robert Smith. First down and more. And Hard will have a first down. George lofts it to Moss, who makes the catch. Two tight ends set up now. Robert Smith deep, and Smith gets the carry. Smith flashes inside the 15. So Gary Anderson comes on to try a 31-yard field goal, and he is right down the middle. So they got to go to work. Warner, the quarterback. Fires up the middle, a pass is caught to Isaac, he did it. and he's gone. Amazing. Dick Vermeil told us yesterday that was going to be the first play of the game. Yep. It was a play pass with a double post. Two receivers in the slot here. They're both going to run a post. And whoever the safety comes off on, they throw it to the other guy. You see the post there, and then the post there. Both of them going to the inside. The guy that they came off on and left free was Isaac Bruce. And their first play of touchdown. <laughs> when Jimmy did leave or retire, Dave Wanstead would get the job. Here comes the blitz, and there's the pass caught. And Carter caught it, fumbled it, and got it back. Here comes the blitz. Picked up by one, but not both of them. Billy Jenkins on the delayed blitz. <laughs> that Minnesota <laughs> one team plays Rams one. Here's Warner. Bruce again. You're hearing everything about Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Warner on the outside complete right on the sideline. Good throw to Torrey Holt. Put together a staff and a team that is tops. Trying to run the screen pass and they do to Marshall Falk. Falk to the 20. Falk at the 10. He's going to score. They do this so well. You see, they start with a play fake, and then Marshall Falk comes back to the other side, a screen pass, and watch how quickly, after he catches that ball, he just explodes. And, you know, I mean, there's missed tackles, but Marshall Falk makes you miss tackles. He just steps out of your hands and arms. And he's going to beat it. Here comes the blitz again. George is down. It's getting loud for the Vikings and, now. And this is where the Vikings cannot afford a turnover. George. Moss. Two tight ends set up for Minnesota. Smith. Into the secondary. Just got him bending backwards. Three wide receivers as George retreats and is sacked by Carter around the corner. I bet Kevin Carter again tries a speed rush. Stringer cut him. Pass to Carter. It was kind of ugly. Now here, here's a blitzing situation. A lot of silos in this part of the country. Here's the rush on George, and down he goes. But they had two chances to get him. First, it was David Dixon, the guard, and then the second one was Robert Smith. That almost knocked Jeff George's head off. Yeah, you know, that again is is speed. Clemens just blew by him. Yeah, but the Rams do. I mean, they have speed in every area. Offense, defense, special teams. Right here, they have speed. Hakeem. There it is. Look out. Look out. Oh. There was one tackle, a flag on the play. I don't know what or the aiding a runner is. like that. That's what it is. Well, they're probably thinking that. There is no penalty, no penalty. on the play. There was no aiding of the runner. <laughs> Ram offense, they're a lot of fun, aren't they? You better pick in a hurry. Here's Warner. Fault first. Warner going deep. 
intercepted by Hitchcock. One thing they had to do was get to Jeff George so that he couldn't get to his big play guys. Smith. Maybe he's had some of that knocked into him. Maybe so. He drops the throw. Moss. He was pushed out of bounds. Yeah, that's the catch. Three wide outs. For Minnesota, Jake Reed to the left. And here's George, and here comes the blitz again, and it's for Jake Reed. Reed's got it. Jake Reed to the Ram 20. Second and 10. George fakes. Throw. Touchdown, Carter. Well, we talked about offensive weapons. We have them here today. Here's Chris Carter. You're going to see him on Todd Light. You see, Light started up like he was going to play him tight. Then he dropped off. He has a double coverage here. Jenkins had him on the inside. Light had him on the outside. And he ran right by Billy Jenkins. Chris Carter never looks like he's running very hard, but all of a sudden he's by you. He just glides through you. That's the thing that drives a coach crazy. You got the guy doubled. You're yeah. waiting for that play. And then the guy still beats you. Here's Tony Horn. Well, there he goes. Look at you line up there. It's offsides, and if you jump in it, it's approach. Here's Warner back to throw. And gets it out and dropped. Yeah, smart guys can play well, too. George. Pass is intercepted by Dexter McLean. Marshall Falk fumbles. And the Vikings get it back. Uh, that I've seen anyone play there. That's the play Here comes the blitz again, and they give this to Robert Smith, and Smith breaks tackles. Smith has 15 carries already. Here's George. Moss to the 15, 10. Moss dragged down at the Rams, six. That's a pretty powerful group coming at you. Moss in motion. There's Leroy Horde, touchdown. And he's the lead blocker right there. See, doink, he, he gets that hit right there, and that creates the hole for Leroy Horde. <laughs> Flying saucer just knocked the Ram linebacker. Ball goes in motion. Back to throw his water. Underneath it comes to Bruce. Ted Holt, I beg your pardon. There are a lot of line coaches that couldn't do that. There's not enough room. Well, Mike, Mike Tice was a tight end. Yeah. Warner fires down to Isaac Bruce. Three on this side, two in the other. The rush takes down Kurt Warner. John Randall was there first again. They're just going to run the clock out here and take a meal all. down. Yeah. Here's Berger to kick it off. Well, I think they realize that the Rams were darn near one dimensional in passing most of the time. Holt at the six. Got a good wedge in front of him. And he gets around the corner, and he could be off. He could be off and gone, and he is Tony Horn. That speed is something else. They have it on defense. They have it on a, on a punt return. And then we see Tony Horn here in a kickoff return. He starts to the middle. His wedge goes to the left. Gets a good block by his wedge right there. That's the block that sprung him. And then his speed took over right up the sideline. Tony Horn is going to bring it out. 95 yards. The kickoff return by Horn. Here's Jeff George back to throw it and fires to Carter, who made the stretch grab, and now they're saying he might be out of bounds. I don't know. That, I mean, if it was a bobble, it was a little bobble. Yeah. It wasn't a big bobble. It's not reviewable due to the bobble on the sideline. I thought this should have been a catch. Well, if there's a bobble, it's a real little bobble. I don't think that's a I, bobble. I don't either. Uh, this, this doesn't look like a bobble. I mean, I think he... He yeah. catches that with those hands. And here, thank you, Ryan. Here's another guy who's capable of taking a shot. Hakeem. <laughs> to the 45, a flag on the play. There's going to be a face mask there. Minnesota wins. It's in Tampa Bay. in the backfield and here is Falk. Another close to at least. And he didn't go for it one iota. On uh, third down. Pass is caught by the tight end Roland Williams.
weeks ago was a wide receiver. Here's Warner. Gets it upfield to Ricky Pro. Number 50 lined up on the left of the offensive line is eligible to catch a pass. That's Ryan Tucker, the extra tight end. He goes to Falk, and Falk hammers in the end zone touchdown. Watch him. He's going to get a, a lead right here. And, and no one touched him. I mean, until he got in the in the end zone. Wilkins' extra point is good. Excuse me. Mo Williams. Fumble. And the Rams had it. Recovered by James Hodgins. There's a special teams coach, Frank Gans. He's a motivational guy. <laughs> yeah. Ball's loose. Well, you see that hand just came in yep. there and ripped it out. It was under one of the Vikings' legs. Got a little light. And here's Warner back to throw. Has plenty of time and has a man wide open. That's Torrey Holt. 42 yards out is Wilkins. Not good. The Rams play nickel, showing blitz. Now they back out of it. Now they come around the corner. George gets away from it. Pass is incomplete. Check your local listing. Kurt Warner, 13 out of 17. Attempt number 18 is complete default. Midfield and across. As I said before, when he played tag as a kid, he was never it. Warner, the rush gets him. Four wide receivers this time as Warner has no backs with him, but gets it upfield. That's Falk again, and Falk is down to the 20, and a flag on the play. Go to work on that area. 80 of the offense during the run, 10 yards, still first down. No, Evander Holyfield is here somewhere, too. I saw him earlier. Warner back. I tell you, I still call him champ. Holt complete to Robert Holcomb. That was Ed McDaniel come flying. I watch it. He just takes off and leaves. But watch Kurt Warner. I mean, he still looks downfield. Now, how you can look downfield and concentrate and complete when you have stuff like that in front of you? Touchdown. Jeff Robinson. He's a second tight end right here. You see, he fakes like he's going to block. And then he just runs right through the end zone. There's no way they're going to throw to Jeff Robinson. Heck, he's an ex-defensive lineman. Boom, they throw him to him for a touchdown. Extra point by Wilkins is good. Guys that can make things happen with the ball in their hands. Jeff George fumbles the snap. And the Rams have it. Falk moves in motion. No backs. Warner outside the Hakeem. I'm standing out there waving in the back. What a, it's a cartoon. Warner. Sidearms one down to Torrey Holt. I mean, no one could see the team coming. No one could see Kurt Warner coming before the season. Warner. Uh, he rep reported, checked in. That's Ryan Tucker, number 50, who made the touchdown catch. But this is one. Here he is. Here's the old offensive lineman there. Fakes, blocks, and no one's going to guard him. I mean, if you're number 60, no one's going to block you. No one's going to guard you if you're number 50. New weapon. Started off with the Vikings, finished with the Vikings. Screen pass to Smith. Dragged down from behind by London Fletcher. Feel like he's been in the middle most of the day. Here's Warner pitching back to Marshall Falk. And Falk did it. Nothing happens to my quarterback. We'll be pretty good. At that time, the quarterback was Trent Green. This guy is pretty good. Catch by Hakeem. A lot of cornfields out in Iowa. There's Warner. Pass complete. Oh. Hakeem. His story, if you haven't read it, read it. It's great. Inside the five is Ernie Conwell, and I think somebody got him by the face mask. Much 50. He's a weapon. He'll be double 50. Touchdown pass. That's Roland Williams. Well, we watched Jacksonville. Overwhelmed Miami yesterday. That that schedule thing, uh, I thought that was a bunch of baloney, and 
I thought not having any experience in the playoffs was a bunch of baloney. Have the day off today, and then we'll come in and get a normal workout in tomorrow. But uh, we got to take a long look at them because we don't know a lot about them. Well, I'll tell you one thing: the Rams won nine to nothing. I did that game. It wasn't the most exciting. Well, when you don't have any touchdowns <laughs> yeah. and, and three field goals, I guarantee you it won't be that kind of game next Sunday. Jake Reed made the catch. They say he was shoved out of bounds by the defender. Then can come off a commitment and make another commitment. Here's George. Escapes one. Throws across. Caught. George retreats. Fires. Touchdown. Jake Reed. That's going to be too much too late, but Jeff George can still zip it, can't yes, he? Yes, he can. I mean, he's in there, and that ball doesn't stay in the air. That's slow motion. That ball doesn't stay in the air long. Neither defense was a real strong defense, although the Rams played very well in all areas. Hard. Untouched. Now you ask if this is going to be a shootout. Here's an onside kick. Vikings got it. Pass is complete to Smith. Right tackle, big Orlando pace. Uh, you know, we know with Moss. Audio supervisor is Fred Aldis. Flag on the play, the engineer is Marty Ibeck. Pre-game show is produced by Scott Atkinson, directed by Bob Levy. Randy Moss. I think it was a free play for the Minnesota Vikings. Jeff George saw it, and he just All threw side. it down to Randy Moss. This will be a touchdown. Defense. Penalty is the climb. It's a touchdown. touchdown. 49 31. George throws pass incomplete. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Uh, don't go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> they go straight ahead. We got it. They say we got it. I don't know who we is, but the Rams. I think we are the Rams. No flag. Lost yardage. Here's Jeff George. Pass is caught by Jake Reed. Go and they're bringing, you know, blitzes, safety blitzes now, just a four-man rush. George. Deep to Moss. No flag. They got their feet tangled up. Dexter McKeon is back there with him. Moss is saying, hey. I think they used to call that. Yes, they did. But now when they get tripped up, in fact, I don't see the feet getting caught. I don't no. see anything happening there. Except he fell down. Yeah. Dexter McLean has played well, though. I mean, he's he's a scrappy guy. Second and ten. The flag came out. Get not against on Randy Moss. like conduct on the bench, on the offense. George. That's Chris Carter. Laddles it out. Let's watch Randy Moss over here. Now this is when he was on the sideline. And again, the thing did come from, from him. I wonder, wonder if he squirted that official. Yeah. And there's the official. Yeah, I think he did. That's it. Start getting ready for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fourth and inches. They got the inches. Chris Carter. Jeff George is going to pass for more yards than Kurt Warner. Screen pass goes to Robert Smith. Keep him in. Keep him in. Smith, you can hear him yelling. We're linemen making big plays. First and ten, Minnesota. George dumps it out to Robert Smith, who heads for the sideline. So you got to get to a little celebrating and right back to work. George. Carter. Oh, you got that. Oh, you got that right. George is down there taking a drink. I think you're right. Touchdown, Randy Moss. George pointed to his left. They go right. They fake it right. Touchdown. Our extra point is incomplete. If they made the touchdown. Anderson. Warner just kneels down. And that should do it. Rams have been perfect in this stadium this year. And Dick Vermeil named coach of the year as well.
he should have been. I bet Kurt Warner is MVP of the league. As he should have been. Well, he should be.